right. First, take a look at this clip from the VMAs. Mr. God, over here. Savvy, guard. With, what's the deal? Huh? What's the deal? I feel just overdressed. Just camping tonight, you know what I'm saying? I come to support the whole cause. I'm down with 50 Cent, P, I, and P. Okay. I'm just doing my thing. All right. First of all, look at the frozen white face of fear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. <laughs> don't you think it's a little bit, uh, Keith, you know, don't you believe it's a little bit the silence in the media? You don't find that a little bit disrespectful? Because if that was Radiohead or somebody like that, I'd give them the good thrashing that I would give any other black people, white people or black people, for saying that. You have to admit, it's insane. And everyone's sitting on their hands acting like it's normal because they're scared your people might go off. Oh. <laughs> first of all, let, let me get this out first. I'm, right. not, I'm not too comfortable sitting next to a former cop. He's a cop. He's a cop. I didn't know. I didn't know he was a cop. They just sensed it. I felt it. <laughs> no, but no, Colin, I've been black for almost all my life, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never known white people to, to feel uncomfortable about saying anything about black people. They've always what? fucked their mind. Are you out of your mind? Black people what? have always what? I, I've been black, like I said. I know. I've watched it. And and then what's wrong with a pimp? What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he takes like devastated sexually, traumatized girls and uses them until they have HIV or have no. and then throws them out. No, Kyle, see, that. you know what, man? That's, that's all the negative stuff. But you don't have getting direction. Let me say this. I know, I know one pimp, pimp, man, that after this bit, he took a part-time job. What what pimp you know take a part time job? You're right. Plus he did our clothes. You understand that? We washed all our clothes. That's and great. do you realize how difficult it is washing a prostitute's clothes after a full night of hoeing? That's <laughs> not a Now wait a minute, you we know each other very well. Didn't you try to be a pimp at one point when you were young? Yes, I did. You I did? did? Yes. You did. You wanted, I to, be wanted to be a pimp. What's wrong with that? Now good. No, I was, to be a pimp. I was 17. I didn't know, but I wanted to be a pimp, but I didn't know how to go about being a pimp because there's no pimp school. So <laughs> what I did is I would go down there, catch a bus down to the red light district and fill it up. <laughs> but I he didn't I know how you change the game on them. I would go to the store, they'd give me money, I'd go to the store, get them some soda to get, keep the energy up, some chocolate, <laughs> Red Bull. And, you know, one day after going enough times, I figured I'd flip the game on and become my pimp. You know, become the pimp that I right. wanted to be. And they asked for the change back. I'm like, bitch, don't ever ask for change. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, well, what do you what happened? And, uh, <laughs> She whipped out a straight razor and chased me 15 miles. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I once got beat up by a hooker, too. I'll tell you that story once. There time. you go. Yeah. Okay, so John, I. you know the whole deal. Yeah, well, I think it's more of a shtick. I don't think it's that bad, what Snoop's doing. I think it's like a shtick. You know, that's that's the role he plays. It's like a professional wrestler. John, the last out. thing we need is a liberal cop. <laughs> <laughs> Former cop. Former cop. See? Ralph, you're a big hip-hop fan, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So what do you say? Did you like my DMX joke? It was a good one, wasn't it? It was a, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about all this? I think it's fantastic. And to be honest with you, I think, you know, look, those girls didn't get forced to work. They know what they're rolling with. That's not what I'm saying. It's not about that. It's about the lack of media response, the silence from the, for instance, feminist community. Why do you If that had been a white guy. Because uh, you're the closest thing we have to a feminist on this show. All right. Look, 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 just look, psychos and comedians and I got to be honest. Out. I like the whole idea. I say more of it. I mean, little Kim what didn't have her t out this this time, so <laughs> that's the closest we got. That and the kiss was the best things I needed from that show, to be honest with you. Ralphie, I understand that. How many ways can I f it? Talking about the f media. I don't care. I like, I like it too. Yeah, right? We're talking about it. I like it too, Ralphie. It's acceptable now. I but that doesn't mean it's, it's acceptable right. now. This is what y'all do. This is what white people do. Well, she, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you do. I, it, now that uh, uh, Eminem raps, rap is yeah. acceptable. So, people, so they love to go. Eminem is rapping now. No, cool. Claire, hey, okay. Rap was acceptable a long time ago. No, I got no, off not from white people. Oh, yeah, what do See you that? mean? Eighty percent of the people who buy rap are white. No, no, no. I was no. 80 oh, 
people who buy rap are white. Black folks don't buy it, they buy one copy and, and burn it off. <laughs> with like 15 CD burners, burning them all off for everybody. Like, Whoa. yo, you got that new Chingy beat? Whoa, drop this on it. Whoa. See? Wait, 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 let me That's stop this right here. Wait, what the hell do you mean? Wait a minute, what is he talking about? <laughs> one educated brother. What do you call that? Oh, that's right. Everybody in the hill has got a damn beanbag chair. What the hell are you saying? Oh. What? I gotta go there. What you want? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please, oh, please. Look, look, I live in the hood. I live on Crenshaw, okay, in L.A., all right? You live on Crenshaw? Yeah. Woo. I know it, right? Danger. I don't, they, 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 they don't think I'm the good humor man. Look at me. I'm right around. You know, I'm on the cracker in the box, all right, B? I'm all the way over there in it, okay? That's how it is, okay? There is one brother with a CD, okay? He's usually got dreads because he's into going to white girls and white girls like that. They make them feel, ooh, Mandingo-ish. All right, and he runs that CD thing, all right? And that's how it rolls. Look what you've done to our kids. <laughs> We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Let's split up, folks. You watch the commercials. I'll keep an eye on these people. We'll be right back.